Look at that girl, 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 Closer, then I don't have to joke twice. You can keep. Is that any better? Yeah, yeah right. I will use this thing. It'll save the voice just a bit. I don't know how much. Um. Well, it's nice to see such a big crowd. Here's the rest of Gulf Sydney. I'm watching the Olympics, I suppose. Miserable lot. Um. For those of you who are here, you will obviously know it is Gulf Sydney Charter Fair, and uh, Jeffrey. Mayor of Gold Sydney for the last I don't know how many years um, <laughs> appears to have forgotten the charter. Oh. Now he dropped it somewhere in the street, he tells me, and it just disappeared. One. Thank you. Come around and get your photograph taken. Everyone. Is it in the box? Should I open the box? Open the box. Open the box. There ain't no money, this is Gold Sydney. <laughs> Hang on a minute, what's he giving me here? That's not the right one though. I don't think it's the right one. Hang on. <laughs> to all and singular. No, no. No, this no. is... It's posh though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got a lot of knobs on it. <laughs> I don't know who this port robe to No, you don't want to no. know anything about that. Is there you anything want, else in the box? You want the Chinese restaurant one? Yeah. <laughs> Is it upside? Oh, it's upside down. Hang on. It's upside down. You usually read it upside down. <laughs> I can read it in Chinese. I've got one back. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Ah. Put the Porsche one away. <laughs> Stand ready while we reach the charter. Okay. You can go back. Oh, yeah, you can. You keep hold of the box because Jeffrey will only lose it. <laughs> Welcome, good citizens of Gold Sydney, and to our visitors from near and far. We welcome you all to this, our charter fair, first mentioned in the cartulary of St. Michael's Mount in 1140. That's not a time, that's a year by which time it was well established by the Feast of St. James, and today is St. James's Day. Apparently, I thought it was the 29th of last month, but they moved it. <laughs> In those days we paid 10 shillings to the Priory on the Mount for the right to hold the fair. But before that, in the 6th century, St. Perrin the Little had given the residents of Sydney, as somewhere up there near Elston. There, there, there's... Oh, we got... The Sithney wrestler's here. Can we hear it for the Sithney wrestler? Yeah. Now for our very own hero, let's hear it for the Gull Sithney wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. The winner of the glove was permitted to collect the market toll for his own use. Well, one... Hey, go! Cool. Come back! <laughs> Somebody keeps trying to, they clinch the charge and now they're trying to pitch the club, I don't know. Anyway, one fair day the miners of Gull Sydney resolved to contest the prize and they won it. From that day onwards the red glove was presented as a token to open the fair in Gull Sydney. The poor of Sydney, between them, were given one shilling a year in compensation. I hope it's a small village. Our fair became so important that in the 1600s King James I of England granted us a royal charter which holds to this day. So without further ado, I ask your duly elected representative 
the Right Honourable Sir Geoffrey, to present the red glove and declare Gulf Sydney Charter Fair open! <laughs> God save the King! A pilgriming we will go. Yo! E-I-D-I-D-O, a pilgriming we will go. Yo! E-I-D-I-D-O, a pilgriming we will go. Yo! A pilgriming we will go. Yo! E-I-D-I-D-O, a pilgriming we will go. Yo! A pilgriming we will go. Yo! A pilgriming we will go. Yo! E-I-D-I-D-O, a pilgriming we will go. I'm hunting for the grail! 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 I hope it doesn't rain before we find the well! I hope it doesn't rain before we find the well! I hope it doesn't rain before we find the well! I hope it doesn't rain before we find the well! I'm hunting for the grail! I'm hunting for the grail! We got Reese Williams here from uh, Gold Sifty, or at least he's uh, been adopted by Gold Sifty this morning. They said that they don't look at Eve. We'll have Eve for Gold Sifty, and Jason here is from Sifty, from uh, from Sifty Village. Uh, Jason, in fact, is the uh, lightweight champion of purple, and Reese is one of our up-and-coming young wrestlers. Done a lot of wrestling been awarded uh, a trophy for the best up-and-coming wrestler. If any youngsters want to have a go after with one of the boys, or any of the girls, or girl, uh, just put the Cornish jacket on and have a bit of go, they're more than welcome to, to do so. Uh, Cornish wrestling go back a hang of a long way in Cornwall, go back centuries and centuries and centuries. Oh, we appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. This wouldn't be big enough for a full-grown tournament. Uh, the ring uh, wouldn't be near, near uh, wouldn't be hardly big enough. Uh, and uh, in Cornish, we not to here today, but in Cornish wrestling, we've got three referees, which are known as sticklers in Cornish wrestling. And if you hear people say, oh, it's a stickler for the rules, you've probably heard that over the years, you use it all over the world now, and, and that comes from Cornish wrestling. So there we are. Alex, Unfortunately, uh, we we was going to have some youngsters here today, but they're tied up with other things. The Olympics, some are gone to the Olympics to see the in London, and oh. 
There's a very uh, famous, fu quite a funny story about Cornish wrestling. There was a gentleman called Tom Birdie years ago. When he was about 16, he, he's working on the farm with his dad and was rest wrestling in down in Wynn. Some very famous wrestlers down there. And his dad said, don't you go down there wrestling, boy, you will get hurt. Don't you go down there. I want you for the harvest next week. And the old man went off market and Tom, as soon as he was gone, on his bike and down there he went. And he was drawn against one of the Cornish champions, a gentleman called Martin. Anyway, poor old Tom got beat in the first round. And anyway, he come home and his dad said, you little so-and-so, you've been in there wrestling you. Well, tell you the truth, Heather, he said, I have. I've been in there. I had a goat in there. Well, he said, how did he get on? How did he get on? Oh, he said, Feather, I am some word in the first round. I really am word in the first round. He said, you had Chapman word in the first round. I did, Feather, I had some word. Well, anyway, what, what happened? He said, I had some word. He said, Feather, oh, he killed me.